Hey, what's up? I'm painting a painting inspired by this Thor comic book uh, that just came out a few years ago. If you haven't uh, picked this up, you really should. Thor, the Saga of Gore, the God Butcher. They just came out with the movie uh, Love and Thunder or whatever. I haven't seen it yet. Um, I haven't heard very many good things about the, the movie, but this comic book is inspirational it's the most beautifully uh, drawn and colored comic book that I've ever seen uh, you know artist Eastside Ribic and the colorist Dean White Eve Svorvinka I'm, I'm butchering their names here but they're just uh, incredible uh, artists and I'm showing you some paints here you can kind of see the the blending and everything's done with computers now and I don't know how much that they've actually done uh, by hand or if everything's done on their laptop or with their uh, pad but it's been I've had I've been having some difficulty blending uh, the blues in the background here these are were these you know at first I thought that they were all one color and it's just got light to dark but I don't know I don't believe that it is now it's like I, so I've been trying to blend learn how to blend this this especially the background from and, and it's one thing if it was the same color and it's just like oh instead of it being uh, more concentrated and darker and then you know and I'm using watercolor that you know you know the more water that you're using the you know the lighter that that the tone would get but if it's more than one paint uh which i'm beginning to think that it is it's just making it a lot more difficult uh plus when you're not a you know a master like these people are that created the comic book uh, but this is let me flip to the page i, I you know I was, I'm, I'm inspired by thor and superman going on here so it's like here's something I wanted to paint something that uh, I'd never seen before and that's you know Thor versus Superman I haven't got the Superman's not painted yet but I'm in the process of uh, finishing up Thor here so it's just you know the god of thunder there with a hammer going up against uh, the man of steel from Krypton, Krypton Superman something you know you won't ever see a comic book of that uh, Thor versus Superman but I've been if you noticed I've been using I've been trying to blend in from left to right where it's getting dark to light to lighter there as it going as it's going to the right I want to get something similar to what's on here you know where it's dark or Thor versus Gore up top you know it's it's a darker blue and then as it's going down it gets light to where it's almost white down at the bottom uh, I'm trying to emulate that. Um, but let me flip to the page here in the comic book, which is the one that I'm uh, trying to emulate here. This is just incredibly drawn and painted. Uh, I mean, I, I think I picked this this comic book up for like thirty bucks. Um, let me try to find the page that. Uh, okay, so. Here's the page here of the, the picture of Thor that I've tried to emulate, that I tried to draw, and I'm trying to paint it myself. Here's, you know, it's, and here it's, you know, it's, it, this one's, this page is cool because it's all three Thors from in different parts of time uh, going up against Gore and his uh, demons here. But let me get this here. So this is the, the page that, oh, let me move the comic book up here. Let's see if a little bit better. So there's what I've drawn and try, uh, attempted to paint, and then there's the original. And it's been very difficult for me uh, trying to get the same tones and textures of paint. Um, I'm decent at drawing, you know, so I was able to kind of somewhat get the, the shape of Thor, you know, pointing. He's pointing to Gore there, but, you know, in my painting he's going to be pointing to Superman and that's a 
uh, Todd McFarlane uh, issue of Superman there that he did a couple years ago. He did one of Superman and Batman. There's a really uh, awesome uh, toy uh, run that he did of Batman and Superman. I, he might still be doing it, but I just randomly saw that at Walmart and was like, oh my gosh, it's incredible. The guy from Spawn, uh, Tom McFarlane, it's the, the creator of Spawn that he's gotten into making toys, which is pretty cool. Uh, but after buying some paints and getting some paint from my Aunt Marsha, who uh, recently passed away, RIP, uh, she gave me these, uh, these paints here that I've tried to emulate to try to get these three colors. Really in the background there from the dark blue up to the top right to the very light blue down at the bottom left. Um, and I've started out painting this with indigo. So this is the indigo here is the this dark and and there's you can't really tell cuz I've I've put a lot of layer. This is all watercolor here um, that I've been trying to emulate this but I've also used a little bit of ultramarine blue, which is a similar, it's more purpley than, than the indigo. Um, and that's Payne's Gray. I kind of used that for uh, Thor's. Thing is, it's, it's very similar to the background there to, uh, as well, the darker version of that. But there's the difference between Payne's Gray and then the indigo and then the ultramarine. It's, you still see this more black. And that's, um, and that was charcoal black right there. That's a, the or not charcoal black. What's the name of that? Um, ivory black. Uh, and then a rose. And then the rose for his cape. But those are the colors that I've been using, and it, it, it hasn't been easy. And it's taken me, this right here has probably taken me from drawing it out to painting it. It's probably taken me 15 to 20 hours. Uh, it, it, this canvas is just some Walmart canvas. It's not a watercolor canvas. So that's another thing too that it's, it's given me some issues here uh, as far as painting goes. But then as far as like trying to blend it, you know, it's like they, they do it so effortlessly in the comic book that you know I don't know if it is uh, if, if this was done by brush or if this was all done by computer uh, it, it, either way it's it's remarkable and it, it, it's incredible and it's the it's the most beautiful comic book I've ever looked at so, I mean it is uh, if you haven't picked this up you really should and I will uh, do another video once I'm close to close to getting this uh, finished, completed. I don't know, gosh, it might be another couple months in, from now, from when I uh, complete this, because this has taken me several months to just to get this right here done, and it seems like it's taken me forever. I haven't really, I'm barely starting to put a dent into it now. Uh, for you can kind of start to see that it's taken taken hold here. And I just thought it was really cool, you know, the concept of going up against uh, Thor versus Superman and either the politics that might, the storylines that might uh, be created just from this one image, you know. And I tried to, you know, who's at fault politics between Thor versus Superman, you know, have also symbolizing here with Superman, you know, he's got his hand out you know, trying to squash uh, the issue, but then he's also got his uh, fist clenched to, to where, you know, he, he might have to put down uh, Thor, but at the same time, it's like, who's who's the bad guy and who's the good guy here? You know, Thor might be the, you know, the good guy. You know, Superman might have become a government stooge or, uh, or maybe Thor's been acting up like he normally does the, you know, uh, arrogant god of thunder and maybe superman's the good guy here he's gonna have to put thor down and put him in his place um, but anyway it's fun you know i just love art love comic books and let's see here oh i actually got uh dave flisher's the old superman cartoons from the 1940s if you haven't watched any of those they're probably the some of the best 
cartoons ever created, and they're from like the 1940s. Um, so those are there's Superman right there. I mean, look at that that artwork from 1940s that really influenced uh, the Batman Adventures uh, cartoons from the uh, late 80s, early 90s. And those Superman Superman cartoons were created in the, I believe, the 1940s or early 50s. But those are all on YouTube. You can check those out. But, uh, all right. Well, uh, I will keep everyone posted on my art here. And for everybody out there, keep painting. And if you have any tips, uh, I'd be interested to know what, what paint, if anyone who draws Thor or paints him, uh, what, what are the color paints that you use also for Superman as well, the yellow and the red. I would be interested. Any tips, um, I would appreciate it. All right, YouTube, take it easy.